Students in the video production pathway at Stewart's Creek High School have been making lots of headlines lately, especially within the live performance and journalism industries where they've been honored with multiple awards for excellence. Under the direction of Chris Bissinger, a graduate of Laverne High School and a veteran of the live event industry that's booming in the Nashville market, these students have been providing video production services all over the county, including complete coverage of the Smyrna Christmas Parade, middle school basketball tournaments, and during the pandemic, they were instrumental in producing and broadcasting graduation ceremonies for several of Rutherford County's high schools. I think a program like this is important for high school students because it gives them an opportunity to learn high-tech skills and be creative. Uh, when I started taking a class like this, it was either radio or um, news television. No one had ever thought of coming from a class like this and going into live events, concert touring, things of that nature. Um, this, this one program, you could learn thousands of different jobs in the same field. I'm in this pathway. I started my sophomore year, so this year I'm taking two different classes in the pathway my third and fourth year and I'm planning to become a, a video editor or just a freelance videographer so I pretty much want to focus on the editing side post-production but I want to learn everything I can about every aspect of film just so I can be freelance and do whatever I want with that. So ever since I was little I was always interested in kind of AV production stuff and at the church that I used to go to when I was about seven I asked my mom if I could go up in the big room up there. So she asked some people around and I got to go sit up there for a couple of weeks and see how stuff was going. It was mind blowing to me as a seven year old. And I, since then I've been very interested in photography and videography and audio. Um, so last year I took Mr. Hovelman's class and this class. And out of those two I decided to stay here. I'm your host Jonas Harmon and here's what's happened this week beyond the creek. Apple has followed behind other tech giants like Google and Twitter by laying off some of their corporate jobs in fear of a recession. I mean, my background started in high school. I took the very first broadcasting class that Rutherford County offered at Laverne High School um, in the 90s and uh, got, got bit by the live event bug. Uh, there were so many events going on here in town that it was, it, it, I had to draw. My first job was at the Starwood Amphitheater. He's a great teacher and he actually has a lot of faith in his students um, because when I first started I was really quiet, I didn't talk, I didn't know anything really but then he saw like potential I had and he put me to use and it just made me grow even more. So that's one thing that I like about him a lot is he'll say this is what you have to do, this is the goal, go do it and he doesn't, he, he'll help you along the way but he doesn't hold your hand. He says this is where you have to go, figure out how to get there. I'll give you all the tools and I'll give you all the instruction that you need, but I want you to figure out how to do it yourself. It takes, uh, it takes a lot of patience on my end because I want to go, the light's going to happen, you know, it's time to go do it, and then you have to go, well, they're not ready. So that would be uh, something I've had to learn about myself is how to just, just slow down and understand that they are still kids and I'm trying to run a program that um, is fast-paced it's always changing so we have to be doing that as well 2022 was very good for us uh, we competed in a new category with the Tennessee High School Press Association for coverage of the live event that was non-sports related uh, and we took first place for our production of the Town of Smyrna Christmas Parade all student-led. They wrote it, they shot it, um, we ran it live for the town of Smyrna and then submitted it for competition and not knowing what we were up against because it was a new category, we um, were, very, were very pleased to pull that one off because it represents Stewart's Creek High School, it represents the students of Stewart's Creek TV, the town of Smyrna, all of the people that live in the town of Smyrna, most of those people were either on the parade route or in the parade and for us to be able to share that award with uh, the town of Smyrna and Stewart's Creek uh, is, is amazing. I love this kind of program and actually getting hands on um, with some of the stuff that we do like the Christmas parade um, where we actually get to go out into the field and have a real life show and help real life people see stuff that they might not be able to see. 
The program is also expanding with mentorship opportunities through Bissinger's contacts to the live event industry in Nashville. And this summer, students will be running cameras and working at CMA Fest. All this experience is proving to be a winning formula for students. Uh, we've had quite a few students that have gone on to farther, further their um, involvement in the industry, whether it's through live event production or um, event marketing. Um, we've had some students that have worked on some of the big awards shows here in town, whether it's as a, a stagehand or running camera for an album release at the Bridgestone Arena. We've had students that have done that. We've had students that have gone to the film industry that are award-winning film students, um, and they got all of their all of their training right here. For Rutherford County Schools, I'm James Evans.